Hey, how you doing? So what do you think? John McAfee, suicide or murder? Still up in the air. Let's talk about it right now. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again, and welcome back to the show. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, hope this find everybody safe, healthy, and in good spirits. And remember, if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. This way, you know the next time I come out with a video, and thumbs up always helps. I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody's done that already. So today, I'll talk a little about John McAfee again. Um, murder or suicide? I know it's a crazy question. I know um, a lot of people wonder why um, that's being said. But I'll tell you this. I know it was heard him. It was heard. He said at one time, if you ever find me and it's suicide, I've really been murdered. It's kind of crazy. You know what? He said that at one time. It doesn't seem like the guy is going to commit suicide. Um, all the things that just took place right now where he's going to be extradited back to the United States and all of a sudden he's dead. They say it's suicide. Um, look what happened to the other character. Jeffrey Epstein. Say it was suicide. Everybody probably figured out that's murder. I mean, come on, man. What's going on here? So we really don't know what happened anymore, but actually a friend of mine, Well Apparel, sent me a little statement that was sent out by Janice McAfee, John's wife. And I did get a, a, a copy of this and it is kind of floating around. So, but it's very interesting what she has to say. And I just want to share that with you and uh, to see what you think, what you think, what your thoughts are. So this is Janice McAfee writing this. I have been trying to find the words to adequately express my thoughts. I'm still in shock, in disbelief, really. John should never have spent a day in prison, let alone nearly nine months. I spoke with him twice the morning of the 23rd. In our last conversation, we spoke about the court's decision to extradite him to the United States. This decision did not come as a surprise to John, myself, or his lawyers. We were prepared for the Spanish courts to grant the request for the extradition. We had a plan of action in place to begin the appeal process, and we discussed plans for the next stages of his legal fight. The extradition would not have happened immediately. It would have taken many months at least. Besides that, John had already won a victory before the hearing in that seven of the 10 charges in the case were dropped in the days leading up to this hearing. John was a fighter, and he had so much more fight left in him. He told me to be strong and not to worry. We would continue to fight all necessary appeals. His last words to me were, I love you. I will call you in the evening, but sadly that call never happened. <clears throat> the story of John's suicide was already prepared and presented to the public before I or his attorneys were even notified of his death. Words cannot describe how enraged I am at the fact that I had to hear the news of John's death via a DM on Twitter. And now it's being conveniently reported that there was a suicide note found in his pocket. Something that was not mentioned when I collected John's belongings from the prison and another piece of information that media somehow got a hold of before myself and John's attorneys. I appreciate everyone's condolences and the love you have shown for John. Your love and support mean more than now, more than you know. I have received countless messages, so please forgive me if I do not respond, but I am sure you can all understand. Social media is the last thing on my mind right now. I need answers, and that will take time. The investigation into John's death is still ongoing, but I will share what information I can when I can. Until then, I do not accept the suicide story that has been spread by the malignant cancer that is the MSM. They and their unnamed sources are not to be trusted. So was Janice, you know, just not pleased with what she was told um, about 
the suicide. I think a lot of us who knew him um, don't think he would have done that. <clears throat> and also, as she explained, that um, his death was announced before they even called her or his attorneys. And then all of a sudden, they found a suicide note that wasn't with his belongings when she went to collect them. And wouldn't that have been told right away? I don't know. It's it's kind of crazy. I mean, you know, we all remember the Jeff, Jeffrey uh, uh, Epstein case where they said he was suicide, but kind of really didn't work out that way. That kind of got brushed on the table. That's disappeared. So we got to wait to hear more, you know, more of what's going on here. Um, maybe some answers will come out. Maybe they won't. Then again, who knows? Maybe John is still alive. Maybe this is all a ploy, right? You don't know. Who knows what goes on? But again, my condolences to the McAfee family, Janice. My condolences go to you. And stay on top of this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what really happened here. You know, people who didn't know him might know of him now. You know, there's a lot of news going on about it. If you did know him, you know the type of person he was. But again, don't believe anything you hear, only half of what you see, because you don't know what goes on in this world. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate you stopping in. Take care of yourselves. Remember, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, so you don't next come out with a video. Thumbs up always helps. Comments, I like to hear from you. Let me know what you're thinking, you know. Um, I'm not partial or anything on anybody's comments. Everybody has their opinion. I like to hear them. Whether I agree with them or not, that's fine. You know, it's up to you what you want to say. I like to hear it anyway, no matter what. All right. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you until next time. Take care.